Introducing Ragstack, where you can deploy a private ChatGPT alternative that is hosted within your VPC. Now, VPC stands for your own virtual private cloud. So by doing so, you can upload your own alternative within your own virtual cloud, whether it's AWS, uh, Azure, for example, or even Google Cloud. And by doing so, Ragstack ensures that whatever sensitive data or conversations that you convert or upload remain confidential and fully under the organization's control. Now, it is seamlessly integrated with the organization's knowledge base, so it makes sure that the actual corporate oracle is providing users with accurate and reliable information based off the internal expertise. Now, the platform's flexibility shines through its support of an open source language model framework like Llama 2, Falcon, and GBT4L, which gives organizations the freedom to choose the most suitable large language model for their own specific use cases. Now, you can do a lot with this, whether it is chatting with PDFs, your own files, or keeping sensitive data private with your own ChatGPT bot. So with that thought today, we're going to cover this amazing application as well as showcasing you some of the ways that you can utilize it and talking a little bit more about the functionalities of this amazing application of Ragstack. So with that thought, stay tuned. Now guys, if you are interested, you can become a Patreon by clicking on the link in the description below where you can access a lot of amazing features where you can get the full access of our vibrant Discord community and this is where we're posting a lot of information resources as well as exclusive partnerships which will be coming very shortly so if you want to be getting these amazing features definitely check out the patreon page now guys if you guys aren't following world of ai on twitter definitely do so as i'm posting the latest ai content latest ai news over here so definitely stay tuned by checking this out and lastly make sure you subscribe turn notification bell and like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that will definitely definitely benefit you so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of the video so guys what is ragstack well it's a retrieval augmented generation and it's a powerful technique that revolutionizes the capabilities of different large language models and it utilizes these models to enhance whatever external information is given to give you the best output. Now, in a way, it's similar to private GPT. And I made this video on private GPT long time ago, like a couple months ago, and I go in depth as to what private GPT is able to do. But one of the main differences about private GPT and this application is that private GPT focuses more on the aspect where you're able to have a local bot that is private on your own local desktop and CPU. So you're able to interact with these different types of files on your local desktop. Whereas with this application, which is Ragstack, you're able to chat with these PDFs on a private virtual like cloud platform. And this is the main difference behind this as you're able to only chat, you're able to install locally first of all, but you're also able to upload it on a virtual private cloud. So you get the access of both of these features and which is why it is called the alternative of private GPT. So you're able to have retrieval relevant data from the other systems, such as like a current web page, SaaS apps, uh, like Salesforce, for example, and documents like sales contracts uh, are through PDFs in which you can interact and insert within the LLM's context window via a prompt, which we can see on the right hand side. And this augmentation basically empowers the LLMs with knowledge that goes beyond what is available in their original training data, which makes it so much more valuable in almost every single case that you give it. So you're basically uploading different things in which you can have the LLM train upon so that you can get the best output. Now at this current moment, you can't export the chatbot to any other thing as it's a virtual private cloud. But if in later like videos, I can definitely demonstrate how you can export it into your own web browser as this could be a really amazing tool in which you can utilize open source language models to have fine tuned like basic bots that are built from your own content to be exported through virtual environments on the web. So that could be very beneficial if you have a store, for example, but this is something that I thought about would be very beneficial for you. Now, moving on, the actual application of RAG 
is quite vast and diverse as there's a lot of knowledge to what is actually entailing this amazing application now by accessing the real-time data from this web page the actual LLMs that are provided are up to date and relevant with its responses and it's integrated with SaaS apps and knowledge bases that enable the LLMs to become more of an oracle retrieving structure information and answering complex query application now if you can see over here it utilizes many different open source large language models you're able to run the gpt for all model where you can run it locally and ragstack will download and deploy nomic ai's gpt a for all model which runs on your consumer's gpu now you can also do the same with falcon b where on the cloud you can utilize ragstack where it deploys the technology innovation institutes falcon 7 billion parameter model into your gpus to enable the gke cluster and lastly they're working on the llama 2 model which is basically on cloud at this moment and you can deploy the 7 billion parameter model of meta's llama 2. now they have the roadmap which states some of the things that they've already accomplish in which they got the gpt for all support falcon 7 billion parameter support they have the deployment on a virtual cloud private cloud which is the gcp you have aws which is amazon's and microsoft's azure and lastly they're implementing their llama to 40 million parameter support model which is absolutely amazing as this will make the model so much more prominent with these different open source models now for the installation process there's many different methods as to how you can do it as you can upload it to different virtual private clouds now in the case of this video it's going to be very time consuming to showcase all of it so i'm just going to showcase a demo on the virtual cloud platform that they have set up with their website but in terms of installing it you can install it locally by copying this command and pasting it into your own command prompt but firstly you're obviously going to need to clone the repository install the environments make sure that you have the virtual environment set up and if you want to get a better idea as to how you can do it there is a download tab as to showcase how you can actually do it with the readme file now there's many different ways you can deploy it so i highly recommend that you check it out on the repo to get a better understanding but if you want to install different models like the gpt gpt for all model you will have to follow the instructions that are set over here to run it locally now an easy way to do it is running it on google cloud as it's super easy to do it by setting it up on your google colab you're able to run the scripts and deploy it fairly easily now there's another way in which you can run it with aws as well as azure so if you are interested in running it on these different virtual clouds i highly recommend that you check it out but if you want me to go make an in-depth video on it i can definitely do so or showcase on the private discord which you can ask us access with the patreon page Now let's actually take a look at how you can actually deploy your private ChatGPT alternative on the virtual example that they provided with this virtual host. So if you click on this link, it'll take you to a page in which you can sign in and create an account. At this moment, you can create it with your own email or you can also create it with Google. So there's two options as to how you can do it. I recommend using your Google account as it's fairly easy to set up and you don't have to connect it with any Google uh like applications so once you have that set it will prompt you to this page obviously i uploaded my own pdf over here which is why you can see it now one amazing thing is that you can upload and chat with multiple different pdfs which i'll showcase later on in the video so you're able to upload large files onto this cloud virtual cloud and you can do that easily by clicking on this and uploading your different files so once you have that set, you can then easily start chatting with it right away. Now there's different features as to what you can do uh, as you would with Adobe Suite. So basically if you want to download it, you can save it in a different way, print it. And in settings, there's different things. You can change it to dark mode or light mode, uh, whatever is your preference just keyboard shortcuts as well as advanced settings now at this current moment obviously is it's running whatever the basic model has set in terms of its open source models so in this case it's probably running i believe the falcon 7 billion parameter model uh let us read it a little bit but there's different ways to deploy it and utilize different models so if you're going to run it with aws you can start using it with the falcon 7 billion parameter model as well as the google cloud 
And lastly, if you want to run it with the different like deployments such as the GPT-4 all or the Ama or the Llama one, you will need to deploy it and download the models within the actual card, which you can do so by installing it whenever you're deploying the model within the right files, in which you will need to go on Hugging Face, install the model cards, and deploy it within the command files that are associated with the different types of models that you deploy it within. So that is a whole different story and I can show you on the Discord because it's way too long to explain and way too long to demonstrate. But in the case of this video, I'm just gonna show a small little demo as to what you can do with some of these things, such as this application, as well as how you can chat with this. Now we can see over here, there's a PDF that is learning to model the world with language. Now this is a famous uh, paper that has been released very recently and where it's like around 24 pages which demonstrates what the paper entails and you can easily chat with it by asking it to write me sorry write me a summary on what this paper entails and it will quickly respond by summarizing whatever this paper is within a couple of seconds and we can see that this paper titled learning to model the world with language aims to develop agents that can effectively use language to interact with humans and navigate the physical world which is absolutely amazing and this is something i'm going to actually cover in today's video later on now the authors propose an agent called Dai Nalong, not Dai Nalang, sorry which learns to predict future text and image representation using language as a powerful learning object. Now this agent can utilize various types of languages and etc etc. And we can see over here it references which PDF it was able to retrieve the data from. Now if you had multiple different PDFs it will retrieve different information that is utilized for the best output for the input that you give it by utilizing different PDFs to get that answer. So example if I had a different uh, machine learning paper I'll ask it like what is the best case to solve this problem and then it can reference many of the different papers that you have uploaded to get you the best answer and it's fairly easy to get this set up you just have to upload a PDF and you can easily start chatting with it so you this way you're able to store and save your private chats on a virtual private cloud which is absolutely amazing and at this moment it's fairly new and you have a basic interface at this moment I believe the actual creators are working towards improving this application to make it more of an adaptable and user-friendly interface so it's simpler to use and it can serve a lot more capabilities and features towards you guys so i highly recommend that you check this out this is a very amazing application that is an op alternative for a private gpt app and it could be used to be host on your virtual private cloud. So I highly recommend that you check this out guys. Maybe later on in the future, they can upload many other models that can boost the functionality of this amazing chatbot, private chatbot. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some sort of value out of today's video. Make sure you share it around, share it with your friends. And lastly, make sure you check out the uh, Patreon page if you're interested in getting these exclusive details. And if you guys aren't following the world of AI, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And make sure you check out World of AI, obviously, and subscribe, turn the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.